to see you again. I know I've been away for a long time, and I'm really sorry about that. I do, however, believe that I have a valid excuse. I've been away because I've been putting in overtime at work in order to save up to my brand new camera that I'm going to use for my coming ASMR video. I'd like to focus more on the visual side of ASMR, so I've been saving up to this Panasonic GH4 camera, and it finally arrived, and I must say that I've been looking forward to this like a little child. Let's go check it out. Here it is. The Lumix G. Well, as you can see, this camera shoots in 4K. The GH4 from Panasonic. Let's turn this over so we can look inside. I'm so excited about this camera. Let's just pop this open. Yes, here we can see a literal table of content. Flip this back over so we can access all this stuff. I'll just pop this open here. And here we can see what appears to be an old school CD ROM, probably containing drivers, something of that nature. Indeed, and here we have what appears to be a user manual. I guess that will come in handy. And this is some sort of gift voucher or something. The uh, rest of this appears to be user manuals in various languages. Let's explore deeper. So, another lid. And another. And here it is. Careful now. really well. And I believe inside this bag we will find the camera. Let's see. And yes, indeed. Oh, isn't that a beauty? I can't wait. see here we have a screen that you can pull out and turn around so this is very versatile it is a touch screen and it is programmable so it is very easy to use and can be used in a lot of different situations let's take a look at the dial where you can choose 
which program to run so let's right here I will of course mainly be using this the film mode uh, but it does have all the standards now let's flip this back over and take a look at the sensor which is the heart of the camera look at that it's a micro four thirds sensor capable of cinema 4k which is just mind blowing to a guy like me look how small this thing is it's really nice that you can pull this out if you need to film yourself or other stuff like that it weighs next to nothing this thing Okay, let's see what else we have. This is a battery charger. This looks very simple and easy to use as well as it should. Here we have a battery. I might need to get an extra one of these the Panasonic batteries are very famous for just how long they can provide power now there should be a power cord <laughs> um, somewhere down here yes indeed so this really is as simple as it looks you just connect this maybe I should just get this stuff away so as not to spoil the simplicity of this little thing it just goes in here and then it can charge beautiful simple and beautiful last thing we have is a micro USB cable in order to transfer data from the camera to a computer and that's it I'll just look at this oh, I'm so happy and now test this thing out okay first of all it's not me outside the camera blazing up it's a uh, it's a smoke machine so this is shot with the GH4 in 96 frames per second which is why it is in slow motion and the GH4 is capable of shooting in HD in 96 frames per second here I am testing out the uh, 4, 4K resolution of the camera it can shoot in ultra HD and also in cinema 4k so this is not shot with a macro lens instead it's shot with a normal fixed lens in 4k cinema 4k and then downscaled to the HD version you're watching in on YouTube right now and it's just so crisp and also I do have a lot of information here 
which allows me to do a post zoom without getting a pixelated picture. So I'll do that right now. So just notice this is shot with a normal lens and just look at this. I am so close and still it is completely sharp. I apologize for the sloppy camera work there. Um, but I do look forward to playing around with this camera and make a lot of ASMR videos for you guys. And I'm really happy that you've been so patient with me. I look forward to seeing you.